Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to calculate the maximum number of electrons in a given electron shell. You should then be able to describe what's meant by an atomic orbital in a subshell. And finally you should be able to describe the shapes of the s and p orbitals. Now we've already seen how electrons are arranged at GCSE. We saw that electrons exist in electron shells. We saw that the first shell can hold up to two electrons and the second shell can hold up to eight. The third shell can also hold up to eight electrons before we put electrons into the fourth shell. And as we move further from the nucleus, the energy of the shells increases. Now that's a relatively simple description of electron shells, but at A level we need to go into a lot more detail. So let's get started. Now I should point out that in all of my videos I'm going to refer to electron shells. However, the AQA exam board refers to electron shells as main energy levels. So if you're following the AQA exam board, then you need to bear that in mind. The first key idea you need to understand is that each shell is given a number. Scientists call this the principal quantum number or n. So the first shell has a principal quantum number 1. The second shell has a principal quantum number 2. The third is 3 and the fourth is 4. Now we can calculate the maximum number of electrons that each shell can hold. And to do that we use this equation. The maximum number of electrons is 2 times n squared. Looking at the first shell, n equals 1. This gives us a maximum of 2 electrons in the first shell. For the second shell, n equals 2. So this means that we've got a maximum of 8 electrons in the second shell. The third shell can hold a maximum of 18 electrons, and the fourth shell can hold a maximum of 32. OK, now one key idea you need to understand is that the electrons in a shell are found in regions called atomic orbitals. And we're going to look at those next. OK, I'm showing you the definition of an atomic orbital here. An atomic orbital is a region around the nucleus that can hold up to two electrons with opposite spins. Now, for chemistry A level, you're not required to know what spin is. However, you do need to know that electrons can either have an up spin or a down spin. Now, when we have two electrons in the same orbital, these two electrons must have opposite spins. We cannot have two electrons both with an up spin or both with a down spin. They must have opposite spins. Now at GCSE, we consider an electron to be a particle. However, at A level, an electron is considered to be a cloud of negative charge. And the negative charge cloud has the shape of the orbital occupied by the electron. Now one idea you need to be aware of is that scientists can never be certain of the exact location of an electron. The atomic orbital shows us a 95% probability of where an electron will exist. There are several different types of atomic orbitals, and each one has a letter. These are s, p, d, and f. We're going to start by looking at the s and the p orbitals. I'm showing you the s orbital here, and as you can see, the s orbital has a spherical shape. Every electron shell contains a single s orbital. So I'm showing you here the first four electron shells with their s orbitals. OK, let's take a look now at the p orbitals. There are three p orbitals, and they're shaped a bit like a dumbbell. Every electron shell, apart from the first one, contains three p orbitals. And we can see these here. Now there are five d orbitals and these have got complicated shapes which you don't need to know. Every shell apart from shells 1 and 2 have got five d orbitals and we can see the d orbitals here. There are seven different f orbitals and we find these in shells 4 and above and we can see the f orbitals here. Now remember that we said before that each orbital can hold a maximum of two electrons. So let's add up all of the possible electrons. We've got a maximum of two electrons in the first shell, eight electrons in the second shell, 18 electrons in the third shell, and 32 electrons in the fourth shell. OK, we're going to finish now by looking at subshells. Now, just to clarify, the AQA spec refers to subshells as sublevels. But in all of my videos, I'll be using the word subshells. A subshell is all of the orbitals of the same type in the same shell. So this shows the 1s subshell. This shows the 2p subshell, and this shows the 3d subshell. OK, so hopefully now you're happy with the idea of atomic orbitals. In the next video, we look at how electrons are assigned to the atomic orbitals in atoms.